So here we are folks with match number 33. It is Uruguay up against Russia. And here is Uruguay lineup: Musur in goal, Godin, Casieras, Pereira, Pereira, Lodiero, Rios, Ramirez, Gonzalez, Luis Suarez, and Edison Cavani up front. As for Russia, Akintona in goal for the Shinka, Kambarov, Smolinkov, Kudasharov, Zagov, Golovin, Shurkov, Samadov, Zudba, and Smolov up front. So here we are, folks, with the match number 33. Uruguay up against Russia. Now, both these sides, I think they need a win to get themselves into the qualify, basically to qualify uh, Russia in a, in a decent position at the moment with two points. Um, Saudi Arabia also on two points. They will be playing uh, later against Egypt. And here come Russia in the traditional white jerseys. This match is match number 33, and in the real world, it will take place on the 25th of June at the Cosmos Arena in Samara. So, if you haven't got your tickets now, good luck. Now, in the real world, also, these two sides have met just the one time, and it was a friendly back in the 25th of May 2012, and it ended all square 1 1. There's Uruguay in there. More unfamiliar away jerseys, yellow and blue. Russia trying to pounce, get an early gold, trying to settle the nerves because they are the host nation. So they would like to think that they can continue their World Cup journey at least into the knockout stages, at least the early stages anyway. And they are probing. Like I said, they have two points at this at this moment. They opened up their season or the group campaign with a draw against Saudi Arabia. And that shot hits probably the woodwork or the keeper. It's kept alive by Uruguay, but Russia still continues to pounce as the defense of Uruguay doesn't seem to be able to handle the, uh, the urgency of Russia. But yes, Russia opened up with a 0 0 draw against Saudi Arabia, and they were held. Oh my goodness gracious, Russia take the lead. Just shy of the two minute mark. Russia have their noses in front. And who's the scorer? Smolov once again. He's given the country hope. Oh my goodness, what a, what a strike that was. So, that result, if it stands, will put Russia onto five points, which would top the group. Egypt currently have four points. Um, so, not necessarily guaranteed to top the group, but a win for Russia. Would that, would that make them qualify? I think it would. I think it would make them qualify. Saudi Arabia could only equal um, equal that points tally. Obviously, the, the positionings will probably be determined after the Egypt Uruguay uh, Egypt Saudi Arabia game. But anyway, that was, where was I? Yeah, Euro, uh, Russia opened up with a 0-0 draw against Saudi Arabia. They also were held to a 1-1 draw against Egypt, and right now they currently lead against Uruguay. And that would be a tremendous result. Pretty much for the World Cup. Obviously, you don't want the hosts to go out too soon. You'd like to have the uh, the backing of the fans and the atmosphere to continue um, at least until, you know, second round, quarterfinal stages, something like that. And I think the winner of this group, Group A, um, could have a decent shot at, well, would they? I don't know. Up against Brazil, uh, up against Portugal or Spain. That's, that's what it could be. In the next round, so you would expect. Oh my goodness! What a that was a I don't know what happened there, but it's two 0 now to Russia. They got the, the second goal, and it's looking very very comfortable. That strike it just seemed to trickle over the line, and now Russia two 0 up, and they look definite. Unless something dramatic happens in the second half, which it can happen. But Zugba with his goal, right on the. I think how how far out are we? from the, the, the halftime whistle. But Uruguay need to get their act together. And fast. 3.20. Got another 30 odd seconds to go. Right now, Russia are in dreamland. Russia 
Oxford are still looking. They're still looking in control and they're looking hungry. Lovely through ball. Comes back out to the man on the right hand side. Can he whip across it? He does. That's broken up by the Uruguay defence. Only partially. Nice control. Still, Uruguay's defence looks a mess. We've not seen anything at Cavani or Suarez so far. It's all Russia and it's 2 0 half time. So, Uruguay have it all to do in the second half as they currently trail Russia 2 0. What a shambles. So, Uruguay's group, in fact, the whole World Cup has been pretty demoralised. And they opened up with a 2 0 defeat up against Uruguay. And then they were held to a 1 1 draw. Frustrating 1 1 draw up against Saudi Arabia. And right now, they are currently 2 0 behind against Russia. And they are staring at elimination, group elimination. And that is a nasty foul. And uh, it's a red card as well for Pereira. M. Pereira sent off. No mucking about. They're now down to 10 men. It's all going off in this match. Tensions are up in the air in probably the biggest game in Uruguay's season. And what a tremendous goal that was. Straight from the free kick. Played in nicely. Ripped off the roof of the net. That's going in the goal of the season bank, that one. What a strike. Zagoff once again. Is that his second of the day? 3-0 up now, Russia. And they are boosting their goal difference as well, which is which could um, have a critical point of where they finish if either first or second in their group. But they're going. They're going through. No matter what happens in the Saudi Arabia-Egypt game, they are going through. And they're looking for more now. They're looking for their fourth goal at this moment. Uruguay are in a state of disarray. What can they do? What can Uruguay do to get themselves, you know, a draw? What would what would a draw do for Uruguay? Should they manage? To, it would only put them on two points, and that is it is not enough. Uh, Russia already have before this game two points so that will put three points and they would be out anyway so they need four goals and they are running out of time they've got like two and a half minutes of actual gameplay time now folks if this is your first where have you been first game watching the fifa 95 hacked uh simulations it is cpu versus cpu where have you been uh, as group a is about to come to a come to a conclusion we've still got to wrap up the rest of the groups but if you haven't, you haven't done so, make sure you check them out and see who is winning the 16-bit version. Let's say uh, the FIFA 95 uh, hacked version of the World Cup because there are some fascinating results uh, that you probably won't see on any other simulations. And while you're at it, might as well hit that subscribe button as it'll keep you up to date with all FIFA 95 game videos that I am uh, knocking out uh, over the next few days. And also, I've got a lot of major world cup content coming through maybe some more sticker pack openings and i've also got some really good uh fifa stuff uh, world cup stuff coming into the next few weeks as the cut as the competition comes ever closer and believe me you don't want to miss it because there's some really good stuff coming out anyway russia looking for a fourth goal uruguay trying to i don't know what trying to stop the, the, the leakage of goals here but at the minute Russia look look like world beaters in this game. Everything's fallen for them. That free kick is still uh, going through my mind. Definitely up there with some one of the screamers in there. Bit of defensive duties there required by Russia as Uruguay are probing for an elusive goal, which could knock them back a little bit. Because you never know, these three goals could push them uh, to top spot. And again, it's cleared by the Russian defense. It was eek towards the full-time whistle. One minute left of the match. Is there any more goals in it? Oh my goodness. Like, that strike by the defender looked like he was trying to put it in the back of the net. Anyway, it's another corner for Uruguay. It's clear. And here come Russia once again. Can he pick out a pass to his forward man? He does. Look at that pass. Good, good control. Good hold-up play. Slips on the right-hand side. Can he get across it? And he just loses his man. He tries to whip it across him, but it goes out for a throw. And Russia are, they're making plans already for the second round where they'll be taking on the winners or the loser or the runner-up in Group B. All that's to be determined, obviously. 
but they're giving themselves a good chance to win this group. Um, but Egypt are the favourites with uh, what they got right now. Currently going into their match against Saudi Arabia, they have four points. Saudi Arabia are not out of it either. They've got two points. So, yeah, a lot, a lot of questions are going to be answered in the next match. And stick with us as we will answer them right here. And we enter the time added on. There it is. Uruguay nil, Russia three. And a quick review of the stats. Look at that. Six shots for Russia. Just the one for Uruguay. Three corners for Uruguay. None for Russia. But all important that really matters is a 3-0 scoreline. And the scorers are small off. Open up in one in a minute 15 seconds with Zugba getting one goal. Three minute 19. And Zagoff gets the third. 4.25 uh, as for discipline. Pereira straight red. Four minutes 23 seconds. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share and of course subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.